All right, so I'm using the Leap SDK in my free time here, and I modified the example, the SDK example sandbox, to add these labels here, so I can label which what each finger is, which is great. And you know, you can see the label moves and faces the camera as it's moving along. My issue currently is I've modified this example so that you'll notice when stuff goes out of range, instead of hiding it, it just turns red because um, it's a different hand or whatever, rather than just setting the visibility to false so you can't see it. So at least I know like where it was. Okay, that's important for like figuring out the algorithm for the fingers and whatnot so that something didn't get chopped off or shift the indexes or whatever. But forget about that right now. Okay, the issue, or one issue that I'm seeing is related to um, basically this. All right, so that finger's okay. The index is all right. But if I bring my middle finger down even just a little bit, you'll see that it turns red like it lost it. But from the video camera, you can see this gesture. It should still be part of the same hand. It's just not. Um, and, you know, with shadowing or whatever, I would expect that, you know, when it's maybe like, when it's like that, it doesn't know what's going on. But I think, so at like the full 90 degrees there, it should be like, okay, I don't know what happened to the tip. But you should have like at least a 90 degree range of motion for the SDK tracking your finger for all the different fingers here. See, my ring finger just completely, according to the SDK, is disappearing. Um, I don't have access to the what the leap can see, but I'm pretty sure with a depth sensor, you could probably assume it's the same finger that it was a second ago, you know? Like, if you get confused, you can rely on the point ID from the last frame, that kind of thing. Anyways, I'm just looking for suggestions on how to improve the SDK's ability to detect the range of motion for like 90 degree finger bends here. And then that would lead into, you know, future gestures, which, you know, making a fist or something, given that if, if you knew about depth, you still might be able to see this image grayscale or something. I don't know. More to more to figure out later. All right, thanks for watching.